Now we are going to start with creating an Angular application. The way we do that is using the Angular CLI. So to install the Angular CLI, you already should have Node.js installed. So go to the previous slides where I mentioned what tools we need. And once you have Node.js installed, you can run this command to install the latest version of Angular CLI. Once you have that, you can just run ng version and it should show you which version of Angular you're running. For now, I'm going to go to my terminal and just run ng version and you're going to see which version I have. You can see that I'm running version 18.2.7. So I am on Angular 18 at the moment. Now let's talk about creating first application. To create an app, you say ng new and you give the name of your first application and we can optionally run with dry run, which is an interesting flag. I'm going to show you. So if I go to my terminal and type this and say dry run, what this is going to do is this is going to run this whole process, but it will not create files on my hard disk. So this will not really create a project, but it will show everything throughout the process and it will in the end not create anything. So first of all, it's asking me what is the CSS that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go with SAS with SCSS. Then I'm going to say no, I don't want SSR in this one. So I'll just press enter. And you can see that this will create a folder named first ng app. And inside that it will create a lot of files, Angular JSON, package JSON. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to check my latest book, Mastering Angular Signals.